Everything around us is in a constant state of flux. Nothing ever truly stays the same. Think about your day. The temperature outside doesn't just stay at one number, it rises in the morning, it falls in the evening. A plant in your window doesn't appear fully grown overnight, it grows taller, little by little, every single day. Even things that seem still, like a mountain, are slowly changing due to erosion over millions of years. This idea of change is one of the most fundamental concepts in our universe. We are always experiencing it, whether we are conscious of it or not. Understanding change is the first step to understanding the world in a deeper, more mathematical way. To really get a handle on change, we need to think about how fast it's happening. This is what we call a rate of change. For example, if you are driving in a car, your position is changing. But just knowing that you are moving isn't the whole story. When we talk about rates of change, we often start by thinking about the average rate. Let's go back to our car trip example. Suppose you travel 120 miles in two hours. To find your average speed, you would divide the total distance by the total time. So 120 miles divided by two hours gives you an average speed of 60 miles per hour. This is a very useful number, but does it tell you how fast you were going at every single moment during that trip? Not at all. You might have been stuck in traffic for a while, moving at 10 miles per hour and later sped up to 75 miles per hour on the open highway. The average rate of change gives us a summary over a period of time, but it hides all the details of what happened within that period. Think about a hiker climbing a mountain. Let's say in one hour, they gain 1,000 feet in altitude. Their average rate of ascent is 1,000 feet per hour, but during that hour, they might have climbed a very steep section very quickly, then stopped for a few minutes to catch their breath on a flat part. The average rate smooths out all these variations. Instead of looking at their progress over a whole hour, we could look at it over a much shorter interval. One hour, one minute, one second. For example, measure their altitude change over just one minute. Uh, perhaps they climbed 20 feet. That's a more specific piece of information. So, how do we actually calculate this instantaneous rate of change this is where the derivative comes in you can think of the derivative as a mathematical tool a special kind of magnifying glass when you have a situation that is changing represented by a mathematical function the derivative lets you zoom in on any single point you choose once you've zoomed in it tells you exactly how fast things are changing at that precise moment it's the instantaneous rate of change not an average over an interval let's imagine a rocket launch Picture a graph where the horizontal axis is time and the vertical axis is altitude. The path would be a curve. It starts at zero.